So now that we have also done the validation of our data using DTOs, in this video, let's look at how we can start saving our data into the database. So the first thing that we will do is see how we can create an entity which is going to create a table in our database. And then we will also look at how we can use the repository pattern in Nest.js to do most of our database operations. But particularly in this video, we will see how to save the data into the quiz table. All right. So now I am going to install a type ORM, although Nest.js has quite a few options. For example, if you are using MongoDB, then you can use Mongoose and for other you can use either type ORM or SQLize. But in this, I am going to go with type ORM. So there are a few things which I will have to install as NPM packages. So let's look at that. I need to install at the rate Nest.js type ORM. Okay, this is obviously the Nest.js module for type ORM, then the actual type ORM module as well. And because I have Postgres running on my server, uh, on my machine, so I'll use Postgres for now. You can use MySQL as well. Generally, you will not have too much of a difference in terms of querying when you are using an ORM. And while this is happening, why don't we go to PG admin? So I have installed Postgres and I have installed PG admin. I will put the links below so that you can download them and install them. These are services which you can run. And in here, I will just create a new database called quiz. Okay. And then with this done, let's see if we can make the basic connections in place and connect to our database. So to connect to our database, right, we need to go to our app dot module. And in here, we'll have to import type ORM module, which for some reason is not coming in type hinting. Come on. Let me see. Type. Right. So it was doing that scan. So it took some time. Okay, now because it is app dot module, which is the root module, we will use the for root function. And in here, we can pass certain configurations. If I go to the documentation, right, come over somewhere here. So we need to define certain things. We'll copy this. Some of these are required. So like so. Okay, and this for me is going to be Postgres localhost 5432 will be Postgres database name. We just created quiz. And now because we have such a big you know, op configuration object, I can just create a new config directory. Have this as, I'm sorry, export constant type ORM config, which is going to be, so now I know that it is going to be of some type and the type is type ORM module options. So I'll just type in that like so. And we can do this. And in here, I'll do type ORM config. Now hit save. And we have an error which says install PG. Okay, so I think it was not Postgres, it was rather PG. Let me look at the command which was right. So remove Postgres and yarn add PG. NPM run dev, uh, sorry, start dev. And with that, we have our you know, type ORM core module shown here. So which means generally, I think we are in good shape. But however, if I look at the database even now, it won't show anything because we haven't really done anything so far. Okay. But we want to create our first quiz entity, right? So how do we do that? 
let's just say we create inside our quiz folder a file called quiz.entity.ts with this what will happen is we can declare the table which is required for quiz so any entity should extend the base entity and we need to add the annotation as well and in this i'll strictly mention the name of the table and then certain columns which we require for quiz so this is the primary key which will be added and you can add a comment to that table as well and i will quickly go through the rest of the columns okay so i have three columns in total the primary key id the title and the description and with this let's see if we have any change i don't think there will be any change because so far we haven't told type orm to load these entities and hence if you go over here i don't see any changes schemas and tables okay that's that's interesting so i have um, was this the icon yeah okay so so yes we do see the columns in here which is good news so that means our uh, schema is reflecting here what if we add one more we add um, is active okay boolean and default is one so any quiz which is created is default to one now let's just see so we have is active also shown up here so which means the model does control the table which we have created okay so far so good so what have we done so far we have you know added this import statement which says type or a module for root we passed our configuration which we created inside the config folder after that one thing which i would like you to understand is this synchronize true so in here um, whatever changes we make if you if you would have observed i i added a column which was is active and when i refreshed the database the is active column was there so this is because the synchronize true is set over here however on production you shouldn't ideally do this it says in the hint right um, be careful with this option and do not use this in production otherwise you can lose data right so this means we need to set it to false on production otherwise yes potentially we can lose data so right now in development this is completely fine okay so yeah the configuration was done and then we created an entity class you now we extended the base entity and we added this fields and we saw that the database table was created and in the next video we will see how we can send the post request to a repository so that we can create our first quiz